And uh, welcome to it, guys. Thanks for coming out. Uh, I realize it's Saturday and the legislature isn't here, but uh, hopefully they'll see the videos. And uh, we've made a lot of progress in the last nine years that we've been out here. You know, we didn't have medical marijuana when we started coming. We didn't have decriminalization when we started coming. We didn't have the numbers on our side, which are about 80% of the population, I'm told now, when we started doing this. So although we haven't made it all the way to legalization yet, we haven't reached the promised land of Colorado, or better yet, a place where it's legal and not taxed. Um, <laughs> all right, you wanna come out and smoke out? We got a cigar for you over here. Um, <laughs> uh, but anyway, since brevity is the soul of wit and tediousness merely limbs and outward flourishes, I will be brief. We smoke these in remembrance of lost liberties and in hope for a day when the people don't fear their government because the government fears the people! Smoke them if you got them!
for a century. We don't need their help running our business. We don't need our help getting weed out there for people. We can do that. The only thing that we need government to do is get out of the way. All of the regulations on cannabis and all the taxes on cannabis need to be repealed until cannabis is regulated like onions. Yeah. They don't regulate onions. A problem that we all face, all of us, we all have a belief of what we want cannabis to be. But if we don't have our voices heard right in this house, with our legislators and the senators and the people that we elect, our voices won't be heard. It takes people like Rich and myself and others to get so many people to have our voices battle back industry away and get out of our personal lives. Cannabis was here long before us, it'll be here long after us. But what they did to us 80 years ago and stripped hemp and cannabis from our diets is evident in our lives throughout the nation and the world. And as we've seen medical cannabis come to fruition and legalization come to fruition around the nation, we're finding out that the biggest problem we face are the people that we elect. So be damn sure that when you elect someone, you know where they're at. Hold them accountable to legalization, medical, decriminalization. Stay off the taxes. Let the farmers grow cannabis. Don't bring in big industry. We as a people have done this all along. And we, we have, have to have control it all along. Oh. And very soon on Monday or Tuesday, we have our hearing for the medical home grow. Please be present. The battling for years for this. We're this close to having our patients have their liberties given to them, not only on a personal sense, but on a so social economic fashion. People should have a right to grow their medicine and bring their homeostasis and their well-being upon themselves. There's only one percent of doctors in the nation that even understand what an endocannabic system is or how it balances or orchestrates our being. Everybody's different. We can't take a milligram of this or a milligram of that. We medicate ourselves steadily. We don't end up like people that are on prescribed drugs that they overprescribe on us. We self-medicate. We bring our own health and wellness in balance. So to have a government try to reach over my personal boundaries, that's out. That's why we need to have people like me and Rich and those of us that are here step up to these legislators and tell them the truth. Bring your data, bring your science, bring the information that you have, bring your story. Tell them what you believe is the truth. He's not here to testify. That's what testify! He's been doing that for years for us. Every one of us needs to stand up to bring legalization to the answer once and for all. I've been saying this for years. Now is the time for a new New Hampshire so that we can all experience liberty in our lifetime. And I've been living by that for years now. And it encouraged me to have people like yourselves come and support us. Because that's the only thing that keeps me going. Believe me, it's not easy to come into this house and battle these people. As many as you don't know, it's very difficult in this house. To be able to bring the voice of all of us with reason and common sense, that's what this is all about. To battle back the long arm of government, to allow us our rights to home grow, our patients to be able to home grow, and to have a free market. Allow everybody to stabilize the market, not only in New Hampshire, but nationally, regionally, worldwide. We establish a social economic reform in all things we do. It's not large business and the politics. It's the individuals like us, the everyday person who goes out and buys coffee and eggs and bacon, who has to work for a living to bring about their health and wellness. A state and elected officials has no right to determine that. That's for you to determine. That's why we need to have our voices heard and battle back what they've been trying to do to us. So I thank you again, all of you for coming out, spending your 420 with us, and sharing the love here for New Hampshire. I really appreciate everything that we